Okay, here's our work number eight on the study guide. Uh, we want to find the limit as t approaches two. And normally you might think that'd be an issue, you'd have to do something fancy, but the only time you have a problem is if you have zero in your denominator. But when you substitute two into your denominator, it's not equal to zero. So as long as your denominator is not equal to zero, if you do the, you know, substitute this in, four minus four plus one, you get one, so uh, there's not much work to be done there. You can literally just substitute. In fact, your limit is actually equal to your function value itself, the value of this function at two, uh, you know, since two's in the domain, would be two. All right, uh, number nine, okay? Let's try doing that again. Let's try just plugging in, you know, since our limit is approaching negative three, let's try plugging in negative three here and uh, let's see if everything's so kosher. So we substitute in negative three, since we're taking the limit as x approaches negative, well, as z approaches negative three. All right, we get zero in our denominator. Oh, we have a problem. So now we're gonna have to do some calculus work. Really, we're gonna do some algebra work, because you can't have zero in your denominator. So we wanna kinda, we, go, we wanna cancel out that bad point, all right? So this thing is gonna be discontinuous. This function is gonna have discontinuous, uh, discontinuity at negative three. But if it's a removable discontinuity, which means that we could like kind of cancel it out by factoring it. So factor your top, which is a trinomial. It's actually a perfect square trinomial if you recognize it. You just uh, and you factor the bottom also, which is a perfect square minus a perfect square. So factor that into two binomials. Put your parentheses. Your bottom is going to factor into z plus three, and times z minus three. Your top is going to factor into z plus three times z plus three. And if you notice, you got a z plus three on the top, you got a z plus three on the bottom. So you can cancel out, you can cancel out one of each. And the reason why it's legal to do this is because you know z isn't actually negative three; it's just really, really close to negative three. So we're not dividing zero by zero here; we're just dividing a tiny number by a tiny number. So that's why it's uh, legal to do this. So we can rewrite this when once we cancel those things out as the limit as uh, z approaches negative three of z plus three over z minus three. Now, if you notice, if I substitute negative three in for this function, I no longer have a zero in my denominator. You plug in a negative three here in place of z, which I'm gonna highlight here, show you. I'm, I'm doing a substitution here, which I couldn't do before. If I tried to substitute before, got zero in the denominator, bad stuff happened. But now you don't get zero in your denominator. Instead, you get a non-zero denominator, so your denominator is equal to negative six. And then your numerator is going to come out to zero, but zero over negative six simplifies to zero, so that's our limit. All right, now this right here is that act that's, that's the actual value of the limit. And this process right here, that's called removing a discontinuity. And that's why, that's why these kind of discontinuities, it would look like a pinhole graphically. That's why it's called removable, because we're removing it by factoring and, you know, canceling is what I like to say. But, uh, you know, we're dividing it out, essentially. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to number 10. Uh, we have that, uh, so I'm going to rewrite my function here, and we want to see if this thing is removable or essential. Removable means you can factor out and cancel. Essential means, it just means non-removable. So remember, the other versions of discontinuity are infinite, oscillating, jump, um, which the important ones are like infinite and jump, but uh, we'll talk about more about that later. So... Uh, we can we want to factor this now. I'm gonna factor this wrong. Okay, because I'm so anxious I want the two to cancel out so maybe it's x minus two times x minus three But if you notice that six is a negative six So the sign should be different if you try to foil this back, you know or distribute it back multiply it back um, You'd get uh, x squared minus five x plus six. Oh wait, I'm supposed to get minus six So that means I factored it wrong. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and factor it correctly Remember, it's not going to be it's it's not going to be the product of you know three and two, and then it's going to be the product of negative six and one. So this is the correct way to factor this thing. Unfortunately, the x minus two in the bottom does not cancel out with anything, so it's not removable. So we 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 don't have that kind of pinhole uh, looking graph here. I want you guys though to graph it. So this thing is going to be essential. Graph it so you can see what this thing looks like. This is how you would do it, say, just visually to see if it's removable or not. If it's removable, the function would look discontinuous and there would be a pinhole, but you actually can't see the pinhole on a calculator. So whether you zoom in or out, I'm gonna go just to my standard window. That's what this thing looks like in the standard window. Remember that that line right there is a, 
that vertical line is actually a vertical asymptote. So just to help you see what this looks like, um, you know, th this as as you go from like the left, your limit seems to go to infinity. As you approach two from the right, it goes to negative infinity. And again, that that vertical line that you see there, you might not see it on your calculator. My calculator graphs it. Um, you can get rid of it if you graph it in uh, dot mode instead of connected. But this is going to be what kind of discontinuity? It's going to be infinite discontinuity because your limit as you approach two from the left is infinity. As the limit as you approach two from the right is negative infinity. So it's not going to be like the removable one where you see that little pinhole. It's going to be not removable. It's going to be infinite in this case. That's the end of this part of the lecture. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah.